semaphores fall into two categories. Firstly, we have indication only. These light up or rotate as the primary equipment is opened or closed, indicating the change in status. Let's see how that works in practice. So here we have a semaphore indicating that the brake is closed. If the circuit breaker is now opened, the semaphore now goes horizontal to indicate the new breaker position. If the status isn't clear, or the power supply is lost, the semaphores go into a defined state, which shows the indication can't be trusted. The second type is controlling indication semaphores. These are dressed or rotated by 45 degrees, which then sends a signal to the primary equipment to open or close. During this state, the semaphore flashes intermittently. So here we have a semaphore indicating that the brake is closed. Let's now rotate it so that we can open the circuit breaker. The semaphore flashes until the breaker has changed position. Once the circuit breaker has opened, the semaphore moves to indicate the new position. Let's now reverse the process and rotate the semaphore to close the circuit breaker. Again, the semaphore flashes until the breaker has changed position. 